fish or something? Like a constellation of bruises or <laughs> something like that? No, it uh, it builds up over time. It's not too bad. How are, you, how are you feeling physically then, just through now or getting deeper into the season, all the hit-by pitches, just everything, how are you feeling physically? Great. No, it's uh, adrenaline takes over during the game, so any pain that I do have prior to that is pretty much gone, so that's all that matters. So. We noticed that you and Jordan have been switching a little bit since the SEC tournament on against certain hitters. Why is that, and have you, do you have fun playing a little bit of shortstop? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, it, it brings me back to my high school days a little bit, um, but it's kind of more of a protection for my arm because uh, I kind of banged it up a little bit um, just to, to better circumstances for the team, uh, putting Jordan in position to touch the ball more, and uh, that makes us a better team. So. Is that that same shoulder injury that you kind of had at the beginning of the year? Correct. That was against Kentucky, right? Correct. I didn't even get to play against them yet pretty much, so I'm excited. That, that home run that you did, Monday feel good after a little bit of a slump. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's it's uh, it's awesome to be able to contribute to the team in any way that I can. So it felt pretty good to do that in that moment. Kai was telling us that he wasn't sure if Hayden Travinsky was going to come back and play this year. Did you get that impression at the end of last season? And have you like how have you seen him go through all these injuries over the years? No, uh, um, Hayden's one of the best players that I've played with uh, in my career so far. And it's just been awesome to see him overcome so much adversity. And I, I did think he was coming back. And I knew what he's capable of doing. And, and we obviously are seeing it now. Um, but like I said, it's awesome to see him handle that adversity and, and do what he's been doing. Um, and just awesome to see. I know he said he's played. A, he's having a lot of fun this year. Has he always kind of been this way, or do you feel like this year he's there's like a different level to him? I think there is a different level to him this year. I think he's a uh, kind of relaxed a little bit to, to a certain extent and just had fun. You know, he's in he's embraced where he's at, and uh, he started out the year not playing that much, and he took that role to the, to the fullest. And it, it, baseball rewards those who, who do the right things, and he did the right things up until his starting point, and he still is. Uh, so he deserves everything he's been doing and more. Do you ever enjoy getting hit by pitches? I'm sorry? Do you ever enjoy it? I love it. I love it. I mean, I mean, ever since a little kid, I mean, you were like, let's say, nine, eight years old, you like, <laughs> hit, hit me? Not necessarily. Uh, I don't try to get hit on purpose, but if, it, if it's coming my direction, I don't move for sure. So, I mean, if I have to get on base somehow, I'll do it that way. The, uh, worst, the one this year that hurt the worst? Uh, honestly, I don't, I don't really hurt. I, I guess the one that did kind of affect me was the one I got hit in the head, but I mean, we're, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you wish you could maybe avoid that one? Yeah, yeah. And try to stay away from anything above the neck. So. Um, just kind of whether it's Pearson in the nine hole or Cruz leadoff, you know, Beloso and Trevinsky right now are doing really good things and where they're pecking up in the order. Just what, what have you guys liked about you know, just kind of how this thing's lined up the last week and just kind of um, just, just what, what are your thoughts on, on how the offense is looking? I think one through, line, one through nine were pretty solid. Um, it's It's been – I've been here five years, so I've been able to see some some pretty good lineups. But th this this lineup has been capable of doing a lot of great things, and uh, just seeing every single guy succeed is pretty awesome. I don't I don't know what the stat line was on Monday, but I think every guy in the lineup uh, got a hit. So I mean, to do that in a really important game for us, it shows you just how good uh, we could be. And uh, it's just awesome to see Pearson do what he's doing in the nine hole, and then Beloso and. And uh, Travinsky back-to-back -back is uh, something special, too. And I get front row seats to that one, so that's pretty cool as well. And uh, obviously Dylan does what he does, and everybody else on the lineup and on the bench uh, who's ready to go is, is doing their thing when they're called upon. Does it feel good getting off the shine with that home run? Yeah, absolutely. No, it. Uh, like I said, anything I can do to help the team win, no matter if it's just getting hit by pitches or making defensive plays, that's, that's what I'm going to do. Is Travinsky one of the stronger players you've seen? Yeah, no, definitely. I don't, he's not a big uh, throw around weight in the weight room guy, but he's more of a physical player whenever you're standing next to him. I know he's uh, standing next to a couple of the umpires behind the plate, and he's pretty big back there, but he's a, he's a big target for sure. It's like country strong. Oh, yeah, definitely. Strong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, facing a small ball team like Kentucky, how does that adjust what y'all do in practice? Nothing. Uh, we, we're going to keep preparing the way we always usually do and just take care of the baseball. I mean, if they're going to play small ball, we're going to take outs so we can get them and just be smart, you know, they can't overdo too much and let the plan get bigger than your, um, the situation get bigger than your plan and we're just going to keep it simple. How much pressure does that put on you guys, not just like physically, but also mentally when, you know, almost every guy's a threat to bunt, there's always a threat to steal, like how, how do you sort of 
how do you sort of like prepare for that? I mean, I, we've been preparing for situations like this all year. I mean, every, for us, every game was a playoff game uh, this season, uh, all 56 games. So, I mean, it shouldn't be anything new to us, and, and it's not, nothing more stressful than it is. Like, the postseason, everybody's got to do what they have to do. So it's almost expected for, for any type of situation, for anything to happen. So. I've asked everybody else this, but just I mean, this is going to be the last time you're probably playing here. Just what, what are you going to miss most about playing at, at Alex Box? Uh, there's a there's a book I can write about the stuff I'm going to miss whenever whenever this is all said and done. It's, it's hard to say, uh, but probably most of all is my teammates. Um, year year in year out, it's it's always tough saying goodbye to just a group of guys that you'll know never will be uh, together again. And that's that's one thing that we're trying to emphasize and kind of like keep going because you never want to end the end the year on a loss you want to you want to end the year how obviously we want it to happen and uh that's just our ultimate goal do you feel like because of that connection between all of you has made you this successful this far absolutely no that definitely has a correlation in my opinion uh guys have have kind of done a lot of things unselfishly to, to compete for one another and, and have fun. Uh, I saw uh, somebody say um, in one of our things in the locker room that this is the most like willing team for each other that we've had uh, in a couple of years. And I think it was a, a previous player, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and just hearing him say that is just awesome. You know, it, it's something that I've always wanted to have s said about our team, and I, I hope that can continue to shine through the rest of the way. How do you build that? You just have fun. You embrace your roles. You don't. Uh, you don't play selfish. You just. You just show up to the field, willing to do whatever it takes to win. And uh, I think we're we're doing a really good job of that. And I think we're going to continue to do a good job of that and just embrace every pitch. Do you feel? Do you feel like you guys found some answers with some of the running runners and scoring position? I guess issues that were heading into this past week, but then kind of broke through on Monday. Absolutely. No. I think. Uh, I think Friday's game against Tulane was. A, a very big example uh, of just moving the offense and doing our deal that we, we trained the entire fall into the spring doing and, and just getting three quality bats in a row. And uh, that, that's how we roll. That's what we're going to do. And obviously the homers will come when they come. Uh, but that, that's what we try to do and try to get as many quality bats in a row as we can. I don't think anyone on this team outside of Riley Cooper, who came from Arizona, has been to Omaha. Maybe another guy from Arizona. Mm -hmm. Bryce Collins. Mm -hmm. Bryce, yeah. Uh, but no one that started LSU. Uh, what would that mean to you guys to, to finally punch that ticket? Oh, it would mean the world. You know, it's been a, it's been a little bit since uh, LSU's made a trip to Omaha. Um, but at the end of the day, we have we have a game on Saturday, and that's all we're worried about. We take care of what we need to take care of. That'll that'll get us where we need to go. Um, it's just as simple as that, and that's how we're going to roll um, until we get to where we want to go. Has Coach John got, oops, sorry, go ahead. Has Coach Johnson, the way he's coached you guys, uh, prepared you? For that moment, in terms of we don't make this a big game and everything, it's just kind of the next step. Right. No, every game is a playoff game for us, so th this shouldn't be anything new. Um, we're not going to change anything that we do. We're going to keep doing the game of baseball the way we were taught to do it, and we're going to have fun doing it. Did you ever go to Omaha as a fan? I have not. No, I, I'm really excited to, to ho hopefully have that opportunity. So it's something that would be a really meaningful thing for me. Thank you. Good. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Kevin.